welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 318. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Cal Payne. Hey, everyone. Hey, Cal. How are you doing? Uh, busy. It's um, almost summer here, and it's actually really hot today. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Uh, hot days are not good. Yeah, it's above normal here, actually. It's supposed to be like 10 degrees cooler. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, at least you got those cold drinks on this ready, so that's good. Yeah, they do help. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, you know what? Um, I do understand that you mentioned that you are busy with tests and whatnot. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I'm finishing up a summer course for my education program. Uh, I'll be all graduated by the um, December, though. Oh, cool. And going into the real world of the working life. Oh, the horror. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Yep. But I'm sure you'll get a good job with those degrees and whatnot. Hoping so. Mm-hmm. But anywho, let's not dilly-dally because, uh, well, uh, we're recording at an unusual time for the show. So, yeah, you're, you're busy, I'm tired and sleepy, so let's do this. Yay! <laughs> Sounds good to me. Alrighty then. So, first up, first news. Uh, Equestria Girl's Tales of Cantalot High DVD appeared on UK Amazon. So, um, you remember way back when, when they were the three special dance magic, movie magic, mirror magic? Yeah. So, um, funny enough, um, I think in the state they didn't call that special the, um, what you call this, Tales of Cantalot High. Um, in the states, I remember they call magic mo- ma- magical movie night something like that. I think what they're doing here, from the sounds of it, is that since they're releasing all three of them together, they're giving them just one generic name. So, I mean, yeah, you are right. When they released them over here, they had like movie magic, mirror magic, and I think dance magic. Mm-hmm. But um, they released them individually, and then when you, they pair them all together, they call them the Tales of Canterlot High. So. That's what I'm guessing at any rate. Pretty, um, no, I, I'm just looking here and if even on the EQD um, Equestria Girls listing, it just says uh, Magical Movie Night Special, something like that. Because uh, I recently did the review for that and it's just scratching my head. It's like, hmm, okay, this is interesting. Uh, why did they do the name change? But eh, it's still the magic. At least the Europeans will get, I'm hoping they'll get better colors than the Shot Factory. Because the short factory version color was not good, especially that last bit, the mirror magic. Nah, that was terrible color coding, whatever it is. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. Yeah, if you... Usually I thought some shot factory did a pretty good job. Oh, yeah, they do, they do. But if you take a look, see at the wiki page, um, I think the wiki page usually use the um, source. So, meaning I think they use short factories thing, and it's all over the net for a while now. And yeah, the Fluttershy color were a bit... Mm, how to say? Um, de- dead? Drain out? Um, I-, I forgot the word that uh, people use. But it's not um, great. Muted? Yes, thank you. Muted. So it's not that great. So um, if I'm hoping the best for the UK, so maybe they'll get a much better color coding, whatever it is. So yeah. Oh, hopefully. It's handled by a different company, right? Uh, it's in the UK, I think so. They're not done by a shop factory. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure. They, nah, they didn't really say who it is from. Let's see, Hasbro Trinity. Oh, huh, okay, that's odd. That's new. I never heard of them before. Uh, me neither. At least it's someone different. So maybe it, it will be better. I hope so. Or it could be just the same trash. So you know what? Uh, it's still <laughs> pony, so it's fun. Uh, also, it's available for pre-order, and it's about ten pound sixty-one cents. So, yay! Not too bad. So let's head into the well, unfortunately, last news of the week, and that's Hasbro teams up with United Colors of Benetton for new My Little Pony apparels. So, yay! I got no idea this store. Maybe you have heard of it before. Uh, honestly, I don't know much about um, this particular topic. Um, all I know is that it's always good to have more pony material. I've never actually heard of the uh, the group that they're part- partnering with, so I don't know much about it other than that they're going to do a partnership deal with them. Yeah, it looks like it. I, I never heard of them before. I mean, 
uh, okay, maybe I'm not local stateside, so I- I'm kind of out of the loop here. All I know is Walmart, Target, and whatever else. Um, I don't know. Those are tools I know. So uh, United Colors of Benetton is kind of new for me. So yeah, um, but it's new. It's new for me too. I I mean, I come from I come from the country, the countryside. Mm-hmm. So we don't really have a lot of choices out here. So this is the first time I've heard of them too. Well, at least uh, if you do go passing by, there's what you would call this options for you guys because not only they're doing ponies, they're also doing transformers. So yay, transformers have cool things, right? Right. That's good because there's a lot of pony fans who are transformers fans. So. You can pick up a pony shirt and a transformer shirt. True that, true that. And they're boasting that they have five thousand stores in one hundred and twenty countries. I never heard of them before. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Really? Yeah. That is nuts. Yeah, I've never heard of them before at all. One hundred and twenty something countries. That's nuts. Must be just in the bigger cities. Probably, probably. But you know, I hope that they do come out with. Adults and kids closing so we can add more to the pony arsenal of shirts. Because as much as I like to buy shirts from We Love Fine um, and also at Tee Public and also Redbubble, We Love Fine, they don't ship to my country anymore. And uh, Redbubble and Tee Public are a bit selective with what they have. So yeah, who knows? This would be something great. Oh yeah, as I said, um, the more pony merchandise we get out there, through you know different outlets and stuff the better right true 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 like what people always say more options always good exactly and well unfortunately that's the news for this week because well sophisticated didn't update any more news (laughs) uh it's a lie Uh, well it's been actually really slow this week it's summer it's starting to slow down the hiatus is coming up you know so things are kind of slow yeah well at least uh mcdonald's in the philippines ukraine uh, sorry, uh, Philippines have uh, what you call this uh, ponies over there, McDonald's, and also ho- Korea. Yeah, the Happy Meals toys. Those look fun. I saw one. Oh yeah, they're great. They're actually pretty good quality. I remember when they first came out in the U.S. and they were okay quality, but then when they had new releases of them, they their quality really went up. So it's nice to see that. Other countries are getting the you know the Happy Meals toys as well. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't... They used to go on eBay for quite a bit <laughs> back yeah, in the day. Yeah. Oh, those eBay scalpers. Oy. <laughs> but still, uh, that's how things are. Um, it's a supply and demand kind of deal. So, yay. <laughs> so, anywho, that's the news for this week. So, Cal, um, if you don't mind me asking you a few questions, because, hey, um, it's rare that you appear on the show because you're so busy and I'm thankful for you coming on. So I hope you don't mind me asking you, you know, a few general questions. No problem. Yeah, go ahead. It has been a while. I think it's been at least a year and a half or so. Probably. I, I think so too. It's one of those things where, wow, um, it's been so long. So um, what have you been keeping busy with? Like um, in terms of gen- generally, what's been keeping you busy besides the studies? Oh, well... Tell you the truth, it is mostly studies. That is pretty much my entire life right now. <laughs> oh. um, finish finishing up with this program that I'm in has has required an incredible amount of work. That's pretty much where most of my time has gone. And Other than that, um, whatever free time I do have tends to go to Equestria Daily, but not as much as I used to. Oh yeah, I, I do notice that you do have a few newbies on the site, like the illustrious Q. Oh, Q's been around for a while. He's been usually doing our um, normal comic posts. Ah. Um, not normal, but um, official comic posts. The, you know, uh, when the official comics come out, he does the previews and stuff like that. Oh, all right, all right. He's a good guy. Hard worker. Heard a lot of good things about him. So, besides that, like, what's been entertaining you? Uh, entertaining me? You mean, like... Well, in general, like um, movies, C- TV series, video games, books, or whatsoever. Oh, geez. Um, what have I done recently? Well, movies I've seen, I've seen recently, I've seen the Deadpool, tool, Deadpool 2 and um, Infinity War. Those were both pretty good. Um, on the TV show side of things, I've been... Um, I watched that new Netflix show, um, Agret, um, Agretsuko, you know, <laughs> yeah, with yeah, the, yeah. the angry red panda. Oh, that one's a good one. That's a good show. I really like that. 
I really like that. Hopefully they get a second season. And on the old school scale, I finally watched um, all of The Office and um, Faulty Towers on Netflix. <laughs> Getting caught up. Oh, all right. Uh, Agretsuko is a fun one. From what I heard, there's a lot of good things coming out of that little bit panda. <laughs> it's really cute. It's a lot of fun. And um, I, I recommend anyone to to watch it because it's it's super short it's not going to take a ton of uh, it's not going to take a ton of time out of your schedule they're like 10 or 15 minute episodes and there's only like 12 or 13 of them you can easily get them done in like a day if you have a day off i'd recommend people checking it out because it's fun it's <laughs> cute got talking animals <laughs> talking animals are fun we, we we i think you manage a website about it if i'm not mistaken <laughs> well yeah <laughs> i mean Ponies are just talking animals, and they're cute, and they're awesome. So yeah, yeah. I can see there's a nice crossover there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Except for Agrizuko, they're um, intertwined with uh, heavy metal. <laughs> yeah, heavy metal, <laughs> some some alcohol drinking, stuff like that. It's a more mature show. <laughs> oh, but it's fun. It's fun. So uh, you mentioned you watched Deadpool 2, right? Uh, yeah, like um, last weekend, I think. Uh, that, that movie is just great. pretty good. Oh man, it's just great. I I, I like it. I like it. Uh, so, oh, I I still want to talk about it, but can't really because spoilers. I know I, it's the same reason like why you can't talk about Infinity War or anything like that. <laughs> oh yeah, but I don't know which one do you like more, Infinity War, or Deadpool two. Um, it's hard to say because they both did something kind of different. Um, I mean, they're both action, you know, action hero movies and stuff like that. But um, Deadpool is kind of more of a, a comedy action, while Infinity War is more of a serious action. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I thought Deadpool, I thought Deadpool two was good for the comedy with some good action, and I thought um, Infinity War was really good for that seriousness and really good action. True that. I can't really say which one was a favorite. Um, I I kind of agree, but I'm more leaning to Deadpool too, just for the fact that uh, those end credits, though, like oh man, those end credits really made it, man. <laughs> they are very creative with their end credits. Yeah. Deadpool. Yep. So, um, are you still managing the anime website? Uh, what was it called again? Um, I, I'm drawing a blank here. What was it again? A Oh, the anime site? Yeah, um, it's not on the site panel for EQD anymore. <laughs> what was it called again? Oh, Desi... Wait, Desi Daily? Yeah. Oh, I never managed that one. Oh. Yeah, I never managed that one. Um, I was I was the one that managed um, Beach City Bugle. Oh, you still doing it? Yeah, more from a manager kind of standpoint. It gets really low traffic. It, it almost barely exists anymore. <laughs> oh. It's one of those situations where... The, I don't know, I mean, it shouldn't be that way, right? I mean, a lot of fans are doing work, music and whatnot. It should kind of keep alive? Or is it just because the show is not consistent? I think it has more to do with just um the fact that in this day and age, um oh, blogs like Equestria Daily and um, Beach City Bugle don't do as well because there's other alternatives. Uh, when I made Beach City Bugle, the fan community for Steven Universe had already really grown up around Tumblr and you know, uh, other places like that. So they already had their home bases and stuff. So they didn't really need or want to come to uh, Beach City Bugle. Uh, I understand. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks though. Like you guys built a um, website or a location for everyone to go to and nobody's using it. So it's like, eh, it worked for ponies, but why didn't it work for uh, one of those things? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, well, for one thing, um, well, I think it was just the right to, uh, place at the right time for Equestria Daily when Seth made it. Oh, so yeah. True that. I think that definitely helped. Yeah, it's like... Um, like- and, and I think another thing, yeah, lightning in the bottle, yeah. I think, though, also that there just wasn't as many um, Pony and Steven Universe fans on EKD as I thought there would be. So there's not a lot of those people going to Beach City Bugle to check it out. So, But it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, at least it's there for people who want to, you know, check it out. It's still a really good website. 
I hope so. It's it's base. It's pretty much Equestria Daily, except for um, Steven Universe it follows the same kind of format. So, and it's still open and it still gets updated. So if people, if anyone listening wants to go check it out, I advise just looking up Beach City Bugle. Yeah, true that, true that. And I just noticed it's at the bottom of the um, sidebar of EQD. So yeah, you go check it out. It's also Day to Daily. It's over there too. Yeah, it is. Dusty Daily is still there. <laughs> so, th- if you're a fan of anime, go check that out, guys. Yep, true that. And, and we all are. We all are in some shape or form. It's just that which version of the anime we like, new or old. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, um, talking about Steven Universe, what do you think of that last episode, man? To be honest, I, as as I said, I'm just kind of managing the site, making sure it stays up. I haven't watched Steven Universe in like two years. Oh, <laughs> oh, you got a lot of catch up, man! It's like that last episode, yo. Well, as I said, I I haven't had a lot of time to pick up other um, hobbies lately. I just haven't been able to keep up with Steven Universe. But hey, it means I have a lot of good stuff to catch up on. Oh yeah, once you're done, uh, what December was it? So yeah, um, Christmas break, you got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> yep. So, anywho, um, I'm going to go for the next topic. And said topic is what have you been doing with our week? For those who are new, uh, I think helping this applies to you too. It's uh, we describe what have you been doing with our week. Simple as that. Um, it, either could be, well, you know, it's what have you been doing with our week? So, Kel, what have you been doing with your week? My week this week, mm-hmm. like just what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm in an accelerated chemistry class, so it's been pretty much homework. That's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's um, they take they take us like a 16 week course and compress it down to like four weeks, so it's homework like every single day. And I'm actually supposed to be studying tonight for a a test that I'm going to be taking tomorrow. So oh, wow. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> this part is going to be compressed. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're talking about, like, 11-hour homework days. It's nuts. That's got to be stressful. It is a little bit, but it's my only class, so it helps. Ah. So after this, you're done? Yeah, yeah. Other than that, I'm then done for the summer. Ah. Oh, Thankfully. Right. So basically, you're done, and technically, it's going to be wait, wait for your graduation then, right? Yeah, I got to do student teaching in the fall, and then once that's done, I'm done. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. So that means, well, you're... Almost there. Cool. So, um, yeah, almost. <laughs> so, as for my week, uh, wow, my week's boring. I, I didn't do, I didn't do much uh, besides doing, well, uh, editing for the podcast, doing a bit of Overwatch. I've technically done nothing new or interesting. Um, yeah, none, none. Like, it's been the same thing. Technically, tomorrow probably I lose something, but I got no idea. So yeah, <laughs> it's one of those things where just been kind of in a holding pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the same t- sorry, at the same time too, um, my week's kind of not done yet. <laughs> yeah, we still have a few days left oh, yeah, yeah. before the week's over. Yeah, and I'm trying to think: Did I do anything interesting? <laughs> None. I know movies. <laughs> no hanging out. No. no, no. Um, not even new anime. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe next week I'll do something special. Who knows? But still, um, uh, I think that's for my week. So, anywho, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And for me, my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Kel, where can the good people find you? Uh, you can usually find me at Twitter. I am at Calpain EQD on Twitter. So if you want to drop me a line and have any questions, just want to chat, you can find me there. Yep. If he doesn't reply, does, that doesn't mean he's ignoring you. He's really, really busy. Yeah. And well, sometimes it takes me a while to check Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like you mentioned before, 11 hour homeworks. Wow. Not fun. Yeah. N- not. It, it all depends on the difficulty of the content that I'm doing, and some days it's really bad. Oh, yeah. Still, um, I hope it's worth it, man. Like, I hope it's worth it for you. I hopefully it will go okay too. I'm nervous about it, but positive that I'll come out okay. It's just I'm gonna be really tired afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Hey, as long as it gets you to where you need to go faster, it's all good in my books. 
Exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm taking this class this summer. So I don't have to take it in the fall and push my student teaching further back. Make it faster. Make it faster. Got to go fast. <laughs> Got to go fast. Got to get it done. <laughs> yep. So anyway, uh, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Ambition Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, review the pony episodes, comics, and movies. And sometimes we like to do other things, like talk about the Miraculous Ladybug. Have you heard about that show, Cal? No, I haven't. I don't think so. What is it? It is a very interesting show. It's French 3D animation with a bit of Japanese and Korean inspired themes into it. It's very fun. It's a uh, quote unquote magical girl story, but also superhero where you get a boy and girl couple superhero. They're not really in love, but they're kind of. <laughs> it's one of those things. I'm, I'm not really selling it, but it's really <laughs> fun. Um, I would recommend for you to check out the MBS show reviews for one of the episodes. It's fun because you get to hear Silver Quill go insane. <laughs> but I, it's also on, um, <laughs> and it's also on Netflix. So it's worth the watch. Like if you have oh, time to cool. kill, just play something and just watch something there. It's fun. Well, hopefully in about a month or so, once I get out of this class, I'll be able to check it out. Yep, yep. Like I mentioned before, it's it, it's all good fun. We did a review for it. I think we did two or three reviews, and it's all good. It's, yeah, <laughs> I, I highly recommend um, watching the review before watching the series to have no context. <laughs> <laughs> So anywho, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Cat, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. And also Kelpin's doggy. Hello, doggy. Sorry, my dad just got home. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'm Calvin. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya. See ya guys, thanks for having me.